Last time I compared loss of scaling to in-game, I compared loss of scaling's upscaling to built-in upscaling, and it didn't go the greatest. Mostly because, as you guys explained, built-in upscaling or temporal upscaling is light years better than spatial upscaling. Temporal uses data from past frames while spatial doesn't, which explains why in all cases, built-in upscaling methods like FSR works way better than loss of scaling. In this video, I'm going to be doing a more fair comparison that won't have much bias due to it being built into the game. Today, I will be testing loss of scaling frame generation 3.0 versus FSR 3 frame generation, which is built into the game. Now, this video will be way better because this can go both ways. Now, realistically, built in frame gen should do better because the developers have time to tune it, but let's see how that goes. Now before we start, I want to go over a few things. The game being tested in this video is Assassin's Creed Shadows. It is the most recent game with frame generation and it has a really good implementation of it. First off, yes, I'm using FSR3 quality for this video. In this video, I want to keep at least above 40 FPS to make it watchable and all graphics are set between low to medium. This game looks really good on its own, so the graphics don't actually need to be cranked to the highest. Lastly, since built-in frame generation like FSR is set up to double whatever your current FPS is, I will also set loss of scaling to fixed and have it double your FPS. And yeah, that's it. Now first off, let's see what the game looks like without any frame gen. On its own, it has about 40 to 50, which is alright, but at the settings that I'm at, that is pretty interesting, but it's 2025 and that's what game optimization has come to. Now this doesn't look the greatest, so I'm not going to sit on this for too long, so let's go ahead and get into the built-in frame generation. Now built-in frame generation does as you expect. The game is a lot smoother now on the recording and input wise. The FPS is being doubled just fine and it's hitting the 80 to 90 FPS range. Now based on the frame graph, it is pretty jumpy, showing that the game is in desperate need of a FPS lock. But in AC Shadows, they don't actually allow you to do that while using frame generation. So the only way to achieve this is by using RTSS. But this does not allow you to lock your FPS beforehand like loss of scaling, meaning there is pretty much no way to get a truly smooth frame graph. Now on the side of LSFG, it is as good as you expect and does not stray too far from built-in frame generation. Now looking solely at the frame graph, you can see that it is definitely spiking more frequently than built-in, but at least from my input, it doesn't really make a difference. Now I can definitely say that the plus that LSFG has is that it plays off of your start FPS regardless of if it is locked or not. So if I potentially locked my FPS to let's say 45 or 40 FPS, I could get a solid smooth 80 to 90 FPS. Other than that, there wasn't much else to talk about. Yes, a downside of LSFG is the artifacting, but surprisingly in this test, there was little to no artifacting. And before there are any doubts, there definitely was artifacting specifically in the settings. Now I do want to speak on a plus that LSFG has before making my final verdict, which is the ability to increase the multiplier. Built-in can only double your FPS, while LSFG can safely go up to about four times. Anything past that 
will not be fun as we found out in the last loss of scaling video. Here I tested the loss of scaling at three times which gave a more constant FPS over 100 so that's definitely a plus and there was no actual artifacting on the screen so this is actually not a horrible way to play. So I think it's safe to say that in most cases, for its purpose, built-in frame generation is a better way to do it visually and because it doesn't require a paid app. But if you're playing a game that has a bad implementation of it or simply does not have it, that's where loss of scaling can come in. So in my opinion, in AC Shadows, I will personally stick to using built-in frame generation and locking my FPS to 60, but in other games like Avowed, which doesn't have frame generation, I use loss of scaling just fine and it works works amazingly well. So that proves that the decision between using built-in or loss of scaling is completely situation-based.